surface area of a three-dimensional figure is the total area of all the faces of the figure. Here we have a square pyramid. To more easily see each of the faces, we flattened it into its net. So to find its total surface area, we can start by finding the area of the base. In this case, our base is a square. A square is a regular polygon telling us that all of its edges are the same length. So that means to find its area, we can simply do side squared or six squared since its edge is six centimeters long. Six squared means we need to do six times six. Six times six is 36, so the area of our base is 36 square centimeters. So we can go ahead and put that 36 into our equation to find its total surface area. Since our square is a regular polygon, that means each of the triangular lateral faces are going to be congruent to each other. So we just need to find the area of one of these triangles. So area of a triangle can be done by one half times base times height. Well, the base of our triangle connects to the base of the pyramid, so that means it's going to be six centimeters long. Now we want to multiply it by the height of a triangle. On a pyramid, the height of the triangle is also frequently referred to as the slant height to distinguish it from the height of the entire pyramid. Here, our slant height is 10 centimeters, so we have one half times six times 10. Six times 10 is 60, and then we want half of that. So half of 60 comes out to be 30 square centimeters. Since our base is a regular polygon, like we said, each triangle is going to be congruent to each other. So we don't need to find the area of each triangle. We can simply take the area of one triangle, multiply it by the fact that there are four congruent triangular lateral faces, and know that the total surface area for our four lateral faces is 120 square centimeters. So we can add that 120 into our equation. Then to find the total surface area of our square pyramid, we can add 36 plus 120 to give us a total surface area of our square pyramid as 156 square centimeters. Surface area is a two-dimensional measurement, so it's labeled to the second power. Since our base is a regular polygon, let's see if we can condense our equation to something more specific for pyramids with regular polygon bases. Well, first off, area of the base we know we can simply substitute in with big B. Let's look more closely at how we can find the total area of our lateral faces now. We took the triangular lateral faces and arranged them in a row and drew a rectangle around them. We know to find the area of a rectangle, we can simply do length times width. Well, our length came from each of the bases of our triangle, 6, 6, 6, and 6. So that means our total length is going to come out to be 24 centimeters. So we can put that into our equation, 24 centimeters times the width. Well, if we look at the width of our rectangle, it actually comes from the slant height of the triangle over here. So we have 24 times 10. So that means the total area of that rectangle comes out to be 240 square centimeters. But if we look at the space that our triangular lateral faces take up, compared to the wasted space, we see that our triangles take up about half that entire rectangle. So that means we need half of 240 centimeters. Half of 240 centimeters comes out to be 120 square centimeters. That's the same as we got before, finding the area of one triangular lateral face and multiplying it times four. Well, let's see how we can work this information into our equation. Well, like we said, the width comes from the slant height of our triangles. So we can abbreviate slant height by simply using an S. The length came from the bases of all of our triangles. Well, if we go back to our net, we can see that the bases of our triangle attach to the base of our pyramid. So we go all the way around the edges of the square. That means we're finding the perimeter of our base. So perimeter of our base, we can abbreviate with just a P for perimeter. So into our equation, we can put perimeter times slant height. But we also saw that those didn't take up the entire rectangle. We only needed half of that amount. So we can add the half into our equation too. So if we want to find the surface area of a pyramid with a regular polygon base, we can do area of the base plus one half times the perimeter of the base times the slant height to find the total surface area. Let's see if we can take our equation, all the information we need about a regular hexagonal pyramid, and find its total surface area. Well, first off, we need to know the area of the base. Well, they go ahead and tell us that that's just 42. So we can substitute that into the equation. Now we need to worry about the total area of the lateral faces. So that's going to be 1 half times the perimeter times the slant height. Well, since this is a regular hexagon, we know all of our edges are the same length. And they tell us that our edges are 4 centimeters. So that means 4 centimeters 
times six edges worth four centimeters each means our total perimeter comes out to be 24 centimeters. So we can put that 24 into our equation. Then we need to multiply that by the slant height. Well, notice we have height of the pyramid and slant height. So this is where we want to make sure we're using the correct amount. We want slant height, so it's the 8 centimeters that's going to be substituted into our equation. Now we can work through order of operations and go ahead and solve it. Multiplication comes first. So 1 half times 24 gives me 12. Then my next multiplication, 12 times 8, gives me 96. So we have 42 plus 96 to find our total surface area. 42 plus 96 comes out to give me 138. We need to label that. Everything here is labeled in centimeters. So that gives me a total surface area of 138 square centimeters.